Both of y'all got more followers than me, right? I think Michael does. I don't give a shit about that shit. Really, <laughs> but... Airport buys breakfast. Buys breakfast. Day one, day one. We got big we got the method OG, man, man, the OG in the building. In the building. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> He said, let me throw the ice in real quick. All right. Yeah, those is clean. Staten Island legend. Yeah, man. Worldwide legend, actually. Let me say that. Worldwide legend. Appreciate International. You. So I'm happy to have you here. OG, how's everything? Happy to be here with the young OGs. You heard me? <laughs> um, first of all, fabulous work on the show. Um, Appreciate you that. You too. People did not think it could work. And um, let me just say this. The uh, G's, the generation Zers, <laughs> yeah, Zers yeah. are holding it down. <laughs> yes, yes, holding, holding it down, down, boy. One of the top rated shows on Stars. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. sir. Yes. yes, and I mean, like we're like one of the top. I think it was like the top twenty most streamed show of twenty. Oh yeah, like it's up there mm -hmm. with everything, not just stars. Stars app. So we moving, so, we moving and but, grooving. But me and Mike were talking about that. Like we talked about that last episode where no one thought a show with Tariq would work. Oh yeah, I like there's no way. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, <laughs> honestly, uh, from the outside looking in, this is before they even, you know, started casting for the show, and we knew that he was getting his own show. I, I I was like I don't see how people go and watch it. They hate this kid, right? Gonna, like that's literally what right. I said. I said, I said when Fifty crazy. told me he was like, "Yo, you know you gonna have your own show." I said, "Bro, how?" I said, "Fifty, <laughs> I said, 50 people episode. hate me. They yeah. gonna watch this. Yeah. Yeah. They gotta yeah. kill him in the first episode for real." Wait, so so when did when did that first like script come across your desk or like what like just my agent? Yeah, called me and shit. And at that point in time, what was I doing? Um. I had done something with John Singleton, got my first love scene. Shout out to nice. John Singleton, R.I.P. Um, yes. He 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 did he did snow, he does Snowfall now, right? Yeah, or he yeah, was yeah, the executive yeah. guy he, that he, started he, that. He's very responsible for yeah. Snowfall. I was doing uh, Drop the Mic. Nice. James Corden oh, and, right, uh, right. and those guys. Shout out Ben Jensen and those guys. And um, yeah, got the call and was like, Ooh, okay, yeah. Let me load up my guns. I'm about to go kill some shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was like, um, the part is for a lawyer. <laughs> I was like, you know what? First face dropped, and then it was like, you know what? This could be interesting. Right. Yeah, I was going to say, right. like, how did you feel like, once, once they told you you was going to be a lawyer? Not I was like, okay, they're challenging me. And the fact that I was put in that in that lane right there was like, okay, somebody up there trusts me. Agreed. Yeah, so they still have done so many different do. type of roles, right. though. Like, yes, you sir. Have that, like, yeah. you have yes, sir. And this has opened so many different lanes for me. Like, people actually think I'm smart. I mean, I'm smart. But, <laughs> you know, people think I'm smarter than what I actually am. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's great. That's I say the same all the time. I'm like, you guys got to do the courtroom dialogue. You Man. have to do the classroom dialogue. Man. And sometimes Whoa. your canonical studies, it's like Man. this big. <laughs> Brady's just like, hey, yo, you make the drop? All right, <laughs> Thanks. He's over here talking to the lawyers, yeah, all yeah. type of bro. <laughs> no lie, one of the easiest days in in the courtroom scene because all of them are hard, right? Yeah. yeah. But long hours, yeah, long lines, one so of much the most coverage. Most easiest days was when you were there. Hmm. You were so on it, like pop, 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 pop. It was popping, popping, hmm. popping, and Peyton. Yeah, mm, right, like right. Peyton, yeah, right too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like her pacing and yeah. just. If you follow her lead, she's going to lead you to to water right. every yeah, freaking yeah. time, man. Yeah. Love her, man. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like a sixth sense where I just, I know the rhythm of what the scene needs. Yeah. So I have a sixth sense of like, oh, I could slow it down. Like, I, I never was taught that because you don't get taught that in acting class. You get taught how to feel, how Can to be dance? in the moment. Mm. What The what? Can you dance? I can't dance. Really? I can't <laughs> dance. Got rhythm though, Bro, man. I got the you white guy shuffle. Uh, <laughs> That's it. And then, and then uh, I just learned this from Michael. Oh my <laughs> God. Hey, Shane, teach him some moves, Shane. Oh, yeah, he needs see, some. Yeah, Shane, yeah, get busy. Shane can dance. Shane, Shane get busy. We went to a Justin Bieber concert he and was Shane was dancing crazier crazy. than everyone else. Yeah, fact. Shane gets busy. He had the whole crowd looking yeah. at him. Yeah. Him and his wife. Right, yeah. yeah. They get busy. She's the best. Yeah, shout out to them. It was yeah. so funny. We brought him to the Justin Bieber concert. He's like, I'm going to be the old guy at the Justin Bieber concert. Like, So he's like, I'm going to play it cool. We get there. He was the one singing all the lyrics. <laughs> yeah, all the lyrics. Right? <laughs> he was turned up. <laughs> he was turned up. Ah, ah, they done got you. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay. That's what's up, Shay. Bieber, he's a believer. Yeah. He's a believer. For That's sure. what's up. Yeah. He definitely was believing that. So, so so, we came across your desk, and yeah. um, it well, was it was Davis McLean. 
Yeah, and when I went in to read and shit, I'm not going to even lie, man. I can I can say and shit. Right? Of course, you okay. can say whatever, <laughs> whatever, the, whatever right, you so want. When I when I came in, you know how you sit in the that room with the other actors and things of that nature, and yeah. I think I was like the second guy there. I didn't recognize the first guy, but mm. then Banger walks in. Oh mm. yeah, and mm. Banger. Anybody that knows Banger, Banger he played Chris Paulo on The Wire, and he, I mean, this dude never stops working. Mm -hmm. So that's just a testament to his. Yes, work, you know what I mean. And just seeing him there, I was like, yeah, he got it. But yeah. he wasn't actually there to read. I didn't know this at the time, mm. but he was there to read for Jabari. Oh. I thought he was there to read for the lawyer. Right. See, it's so deceiving. You don't really That's know. Right. You can't like and make it. It's any... not like we're going to be discussing that right there because right. we're in that yeah. zone now. You know, you're going through you your know? emotional journal and all yeah. that yeah. shit. You come in and yeah. ask you, the character. Yeah, yeah you walk over, you see me like, hey man, no, what, what you here for? Right. No, no, no. I want one of those deals. And but you know, when I breathed the sigh of relief was when I seen Anthony Hemingway walk in. Now I've worked with Anthony on the wire, on Red Tails. Very accommodating director. Yeah, he was a Accommodating as an AD, even better as a director. And um, it was like, okay, I got this. Right. Mm -hmm. I got this. Mark was in there. Mark Hanton. Mm -hmm. I read with Mark. Mark's the man. Mark's gracious Thanks. as hell. I love <laughs> him. And uh, I thought I did horrible. Well, not horrible. I just didn't think I did well enough to warrant a a look. Right. And I got the call back. Do you, like, you remember <laughs> what, do you remember what scene it was? It was uh, that opening scene, his uh, introduction where he's... Uh, does my client look like he steals? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. I love you know that. I mean? yeah, I yeah. love that yeah. one. And um, I think it was a scene with Michael uh, about the 500K. Nice. When we first, was, when, like, when we first, first me, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I need a lawyer. And, yeah. you, and, you're, not, and you're not with it. And Mark was a horrible Tariq, by the way. I'm just <laughs> oh, like, oh, oh, no, you I'm, know Mark <laughs> read with you? Oh. Yeah, Mark read with me. Absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> he read as Tariq. That was Mr. Kenton. <laughs> we need that scene. Kenton. Yo, we got to see that. <laughs> Hell yeah. It was dope, though. So Mark Kenton's one of the uh, producers of the original Power, and he's a yes. uh, uh, producer on um, Ghost. And he's he's involved with all of them, Raising Kenton. Yes, he is. whole universe, true. And he was a big, he was at Sony for a while. He was at studio exec at Sony for a while. Yes. Brought a lot of projects there. So. If Courtney is the brains, 50 is the brawn, Mark is the heart. Right. Mm. I love go. that. Up I love that. Room. Yeah. Yeah. Fact. That's awesome. Yeah. So, bro, we just started the summer off, right? It was your birthday yesterday. Yes, sir. Had the craziest party ever. Mm -hmm. I know you got right before you stepped out. Oh, you I know it. you got right before you Were you watching me? Nah, man. Yo, listen, bro. <laughs> <laughs> listen, I just, listen, I know my brother. And we team Manscaped, so. I know you got right. I know you had that big grooming energy before you Yes, sir. You BG. To. You heard about BG? You know I'm Team Manscaped. I hear about everything they come out with. Yeah. yeah. On, you man. know, when, when you trim the hedges. The trees stand taller. No, no. When you trim the trees, the hedges stand taller. No, no. But, it's when you trim the trees. Oh, it is. The huh? Whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> We're late. <laughs> Platinum package. It's, yes. a, it's the biggest package that they have. It comes with the, the boxers. It comes with the lawnmower 4.0. Oh, everything it, it is It is the biggest package that they got. Right? Of course, Michael's is bigger than mine. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> fucking, you guys always fuck me up. But over. look, though, look, though, look, though. Just in case, you know, got to practice. You don't want to, you know. I mean, you're not even going to cut your shit with this, though, because, like, you At know, all. got the little, the safe, the little safe razor. You want me to do it for you or no? You're good? I'm f I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> so make sure you try out the Platinum package it's the biggest package that they got yes and package. it comes with you know boxers a lot more 4.0 everything everything with it for all your holes ears nose all your holes one. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure make sure you use the promo code crew and you get 20 percent off your first order with free shipping start the summer yeah, off fuck shipping yeah why would you want to yeah. pay for shipping who's pay who pays for shipping these days Work on that BGE, baby. <laughs> Big grooming energy. I'm going to look you in the eyes while I do this. Nah, don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so you went in and then um, you did the scene. Yeah. You left. How much longer did you hear? I think a week. A week, yeah. Might have been a week. Because right. right. they were doing so many auditions that yeah. week for so many characters. I'm pretty sure a lot of people came in with the exception of maybe Mary, you, mm. you, yeah. uh, Shane, yeah. you know. But yeah. uh, they were they were seeing a lot of people and yeah. the cast that they got. May I say, you guys did an excellent job. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we're yeah. killing them right now. It's so yeah. funny. It's so funny that Matt's like, uh, he's like, yeah, I was nervous. I saw someone else, and I was like, shit. Because mm. in my mind, I'm like, when I get to Method Man's level, I'm the guy that walks in and everyone Everyone's goes like, shit. shit. Yeah. So to think that he's saying shit, someone's here. I'm like, this is never gonna get better for yeah. me. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean. That's that's because I, I I respect the craft, mm. right? You know a lot, and I know who does the work. Mm -hmm. Guys that do the work. Right. It's like, for instance, I'll give you an example. 
there can be a scene where two people are talking and the person that's talking ain't even the focus of the camera at that point in time because the person that's not saying anything is still working. Right. Mm. Like you could see in the it. Face, right? in the like eyes. Morgan Freeman, mm-hmm. Clint Eastwood, people mm-hmm. of that ilk, uh, Viola. Right. You know, just, you could see that they are working. Right. Mm-hmm. So whenever we're watching the show from now on and someone else is talking, but they're focused on Michael's face. Mm. Michael's working. Right. Mm. That's why they're on his face. Same thing with Brayton. Brayton's working. Brayton's working. You know what I mean? Gianni, but you know, I'm calling yeah. him Brayton. <laughs> but yeah, and, and that's the level that I want. Well, the level that I'm working to get at, where it's like I'm always in it, but then there's a level of getting it off of you. Right. Mm. You know what I mean? And I don't want to take it home with me. A lot of this yeah. stuff you can't yeah. take home now because if <laughs> you do, you're going to strangle somebody. I know, you know? I know. So, yeah. Especially this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that'd be that. good. He'll, he'll, be going, he'll be going to get a, a bacon cheeseburger. He'll be like, what the fuck is that? I, I wouldn't trust him. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't trust him. I, I would I not turn my shit, back man. on him at all. And then, the Twitter, <laughs> then, you know, in the Twitterverse, you know, black Twitter, they be on, on mm. us and stuff. Right. I, yeah. I've had uh, I've had the threat, so I can only imagine what you guys yeah. do. Oh, you are a G. Oh, yeah, yeah. nah, they love him. Like, what? He invited to every barbecue in, in, in the world He took right that. Now. He took that on the street. You could go right everywhere you want, you, for Memorial Day. You want to know what's so everywhere. funny was that I, uh, so during the courtroom scene, I was on Accutane for my skin. Mm. So I was taking, and it makes your lips really dry. So mm. I was cracking at the corners. Mm. And I was just throwing on chapstick, chapstick, chapstick. So the whole time, for like the first couple <laughs> rehearsals, I remember they flamed R- Lorenz mm. when he he threw on a bunch of chapstick in one of the scenes. Bro, it, it went everywhere. Yes. So I was like the whole time in the middle of the scene, I'm getting like questioned. I'm like, I'm going to get flamed on black Twitter. I already know it for my chapstick right now. The whole time. And then I finally got out of it. But I, like that was what was going through my mind. I was like, these the motherfuckers. Time. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. That was wow. A L- and Lorenz is just perfect. Let's just oh, he's get the that. Man. He's like, a man. Just P-E-R-F-E-C-T. He's pushing P. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, for real. Yeah. P, man. It's Pleasure to have on set, man. So, so when you came from music, obviously... You you had done a couple things that you got offered or you know that you made happen yourself. Yeah. When was like the transition from okay, I'm Cliff, I'm Method Man, I'm coming in, I'm gonna do a quick acting role to like no, I'm fucking Davis McLean, like I'm gonna take this seriously, I'm gonna put in the work, I'm gonna learn the craft so I can actually show up. And that's where you're getting roles like this now, where yeah. you know it's so different from who you are. Well, it happened before that. I um did a movie with Adam Sandler called The Cobbler. Love that movie. Right? Yep. And I worked with Bob Krakowski. Yes. That's our guy. He's Bobby. dope. Who, who directed? The, the director that did Spotlight, right? Yeah. Right. He, um, That's uh, Tom McCarthy. Uh, yes. And it's crazy because um, I had to go sit down and have a meeting with him. You know, you go to lunch with the director or whatever, especially mm-hmm. when they're interested in just giving you the part without a read. So you take a meeting. And I, I'm not going to lie. I Googled him mm-hmm. just to see who he was. And I, when I saw him, I was like, this guy looks familiar. The Wire. He was one of the reporters on The Wire. He was actually the piece of shit reporter that was making up stories about a serial killer. And um, so when I went to the meeting, very familiar with him now, I sit down with him and he's already award winning. Right. You know, he did the station agent. He did, you know, a few things. I sit down and I'm like, you're that piece of shit reporter. And he was like, yep, and you're that piece of shit cheese. <laughs> and I liked him from that day. But um, not to make the story any longer, um, just working on the cobbler, uh, working with Bob and working with him. Everybody was so wrapped up in trying to act like Adam Sandler. First of all, the, the premise of the movie is Adam Sandler is a cobbler, shoemaker, who puts on other, he uses this machine, this certain machine, and when he puts on people's shoes, he actually transforms into, into that the, person. I saw it. It's, it's great, But yeah. not mentally. Right. It's, it's still, still him. Yeah. But, but it's like it's, physically. Right. Yeah. So everyone that you know, he changes into the actor wise, or, or, or more or less like, well, how do we act like Adam Sandler? So everybody's watching him to see how he's going to act and right. all this shit. When the whole thing was, and Bob pointed this out to me as well as Tom was, it's not to act like Adam Sandler. He's trying to act like us. Right. So the point is, act like yourself, but just a bad version of it. Right, right, right. right, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? And yeah. once I got that note, it was like, it opened up a whole new world and the way Tom explained things to me when we were on set because when you have a director that acted that acts right right they are great at directing actors yeah period and there are some directors not taking anything away from directors that do great camera work that's just what they do they're not great at directing actors 
when you have one of those and they can explain it to you in a, in a, in a, in a, in a world where you can understand mm-hmm. it, it makes it so much easier. Right, right, right. And not only that, now you want to challenge yourself right, right. to more things. Brings me to the Davis McLean thing because from there, I started taking my classes, uh, going more auditions, getting comfortable with the process. Mm-hmm. And uh, by the time Davis McLean rolled around, it was like, yeah, I can do this. Yeah. Do this. So yeah. specifically, what, what were the classes that you took? Like, what, were you in a scene study class with like a bunch of people? And yes. it was like, oh, fucking oh, Method Man's in oh, here. And I ain't going to say I hated it, but I hated it. Right. <laughs> right. Um, the first couple of times I just sat in, Alexa Fogel, by the no, way. Okay, Alexa yeah. Fogel. She's uh, casting director. Yes. Yeah. She, um, no, that's not Alexa Fogel. I'm sorry. Ivana. Chubbick. Chubbick. Ivana Chubbick, yeah. Oh, uh, what the hell am I talking yeah. about? Yeah, Alexa Folds, I just didn't know. Maybe the, she did the, like you the did the like workshop. The Ellis thing about Alexa is I've been auditioning for her for years. Yeah. Green. Green yeah. as hell. Right. And she's gracious enough that I was getting those parts. Right. Right? But, but after I trained, she didn't know. I came in to read for her for a part in this move, in this uh, fucking name of this damn show, Quake or something like that? Mm-hmm. Qu- Quarry. Oh, Quarry. Okay. Quarry was the name of it. Right. So when I came in and read for her, Halfway through the audition, she stopped me. Now, we're friends. Right. So halfway through the audition, she stops me like, stop. She looked at me, right? And I'm like, what's up? Yeah, she was yeah. like, you've been training. <laughs> In the middle of the scene? <laughs> yeah. That's I was crazy. Like, yeah. She was like, forget that. Take this home. And it was the deuce. Oh, uh, yeah, that's yeah, probably yeah. Nice. That's a great feeling. Nice. Dope, dope. Just I mean, that right. when you like, get people like that that, that are in your corner like right. that, why? I mean, why wouldn't you? Right. Wanna, Pursue it further and and get your That's feet fine. wet even more. Yeah. You know what I mean. So yeah. so, 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 for <laughs> so so for the listeners, so so for for the listeners with with <laughs> like That's fine. it's it's good to get in with a casting director because if you read for them, they you know they'll when they have shows coming up or movies coming up, they're like, oh, you know who'd be great for this? Yeah, Matt would be great they're for this. So Mike would be great for this. Johnny yes. would be great for this. Yes. So that's why you know when you go in, even if you're not right for this part, you always just want to crush the room because then they're like, oh, you're not good for this, but you I guess I'd be good for this. Right. Right. And that's what happened with the deuce. So you did yes. that with, with Franco and Jill and Hall and Yep, sure did. And um to go back to, you know, Ivana Chubbick, the book, you know, first she had me buy the book. You gotta buy the book before you get yeah. in her class. That's every like, act. Fuck right. if she takes you yeah. in her class, because yeah. it's it's a line. Um gracious enough to let me in her class. Um sat in a couple of times and the first scene partner that I got was this uh Latino dude. And the scene was from Philadelphia. Mm. I get to play the Denzel part. Oh, mm. nice. Lawyer. Yeah. So, I, I first of all, I watched the movie. Denzel is incredible. I knew it already, but, you know, we take it for granted because we hear people say it a lot. And and it's like, do you actually know why this man is great? Right. You just and, automatically know it is and you just watch it. Right. Like, yeah, he's great, but because because when you really watch it, right. yeah, right. you're really watching it. Watch that movie and there's a lot of screen time where Denzel isn't saying anything, but that camera is bong, right. mm-hmm. bong. You know what I mean? Man is great. Anyway, we do. I, I, we're going over it, me and the guy, and uh, he's pretty. I like it because he likes to get right to the work. Let's just go over the scene. Let's do it. Blah, 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 blah. He gets booked, so now I get a different scene partner for the same fucking scene. Right. Mm. It's uh like this. Uh, I think he's Polish. Maybe he's Polish German. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. Thick accent. Maybe he was a Russian. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I get my accents fucked up. <laughs> but this guy, technical. Yeah. He wants to sit there. Emotional journals right. for a half hour and shit. So that means we're just sitting there writing shit. So I'm sitting there like, while wow, he's writing mad shit, I'm like, I don't like this guy. <laughs> yeah, right, all right. That's my emotional journal now. That's it. That's all I could think of. Boom. <laughs> Waiting for him to finish. He finishes. Uh, I'm thinking now he wants to do like drills or some shit. Like, <laughs> zip, zap, zap. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, oh, let's just get to the work. Anyway, it was good that he did that mm. because I was... Prepared, very prepared right. by the time we did the scene. Yeah. And it prepared me for doing the Davis McLean thing. Right. It was like it was written in, like it, it was put in the universe and it just dropped in my lap. Mm. You know, and I'm glad that Courtney, 50, Mark, whoever's in charge of it, gave me a shot, boy. <laughs> yeah, same. <For> real. <laughs> I'm glad too. But, Shout but, out to Jeff Hirsch. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> the good thing about that is like, that's the stuff that you learn in acting class because that stuff will happen on set. Like someone will get recast, which has happened, you know, many times where you're like, oh shit, like I got yeah. a new scene partner today. Yeah. Or they change the lines. They rewrite the scene same. that morning, yeah. which has also happened this, this season. So mm-hmm. it, it's such a gift to have to deal with that stuff. At the time you're like, what the fuck? Like, why is this? I got to perform this in front of everyone. 
everyone, why is this happening right, to me? Right. But mm-hmm. then it winds up being a blessing in disguise because now you know, oh, I know how to deal with this now. You know, yes, especially yes. when it matters when you're on set and you're not just working on your craft. I have a question for you guys, especially because you know, you know, when you're like in the first five on the call sheet. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> um, has there ever been a moment in your careers, not just with you know this show, where you get pages of dialogue night before that mm. you have to know the next day? Mm. W- yeah. w- with auditions or just no. uh, for a show? Uh, for a show. No, I honestly feel like they've been, like this show has always been pretty good. Uh, and most of the other stuff I've done, like everyone's been pretty, I had a couple stuff changed um, one time, but nothing like where I've gotten pages and pages of dialogue. All right, well, yeah, not the night before. Yeah, not the night yeah. before. He learns it in the morning anyways. He I just be like, <laughs> He looks at it one time. He's like, wait, what's that say? It's like this big. He's like, all right, got it. Let's do it. And I'm just sitting there like, my line's, uh, okay, okay, uh, Tariq. And I'm like, wait, what is my line? <laughs> I, I wish. Nah, man. Sometimes it just snaps. I just be like, yeah, this is what it is. And then like like, like we always say, it's like story, you know, just knowing information from the past. Right. And, like, and you know, plus you've been playing that character since. Yeah. Right. So what, is that, like, has that happened to you or? No, no. But I have had an audition where it yeah. was 10 pages. I just, got I, self tape. I just got a self tape sent to me. It had sixteen pages. I was Jesus, like, "Bro, I'm, no way! I'm not doing it." <laughs> no, 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 no. So it's like, yeah, it's like you, you get a scene, no, and then you're like, what? "Is it is it a producer session?" It's like, yeah, I know. I'm like, like sometimes it's it's OD. They're yeah, like, sixteen is. Crazy. And then and then we we don't know where it goes. We're like, we put in hours and hours of work for a yeah, tape. Yeah. Sixteen page. We got to get a reader. We got to edit it. We got to send it in. And sometimes we don't even know if they even watch it. Yeah, it's just like. This is true. This is true. <laughs> self tapes suck. I like going in. I like going I in going myself. Right. Self, right. self. I've never gotten a job off of self tape ever, mm. ever. But this ten page uh, audition, two days, well, a day and a half, because it was like, yeah, yeah day and a half. Crazy. Because I was already, I had to do another audition the day before the day I auditioned for that. So it's like learning this, then learning this. Going to audition, the audition for that, then the and next then, day right. auditioning oh for, <laughs> right. so and then filming and then being on set still with your normal job that you have. Well, yes, that right. too. But that was reading off a prompter. That was easiest, <laughs> uh, <laughs> easiest fifty k I ever made in my life, right? But That's fine. they, I go in and I'm, there's there's an ending to this. I go in, it's for Key and Peele, yeah. Keanu. I hear laughing already in there because somebody else is auditioning. Uh, yeah, female. That's, that's so Had nothing worse. to do with me, though. All right, it was, yeah. it was for the female that is the part. That's the worst, though. If you hear uh, under the door, you're like, right. hey, it's so good right. to see you. And you're like, oh. fuck. <laughs> I walk in, and this is what I, I, I really, like a peeve of mine. Um, like, when you walk in and it's more than you, the person you're reading with, and the person running the yeah. camera. Yeah, it was like everybody. Extra, it's like a lot of people. It's like, right. damn. Everybody in right. there, plus Key and Peele. Now, these guys... Legends. I mean, they could finish each other's sentences. Right. So I'm in there walking and shit, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Gr- yeah. Grilling her out. Grilling yeah, her no. out. <laughs> they, yeah. First thing they ask is, uh, "Do you like cats?" I'm like, no, yeah, I, I can like, I can. I can. <laughs> I can. How, much is the, how much is this get paid? <laughs> I'll tell you how much I like cats. <laughs> is it fifty hundred? I, I can. I can like cats. So, uh, and then uh, you know, the the guys are there, and um, they're like, "Okay, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready." Got my pages here. I put my pages down mm. off paper. These guys pick up their papers. So I look and I'm like, no, fuck that. If I had to learn this shit, y'all should know it too. Mm. Pages down. <laughs> so we got we start going through it and you know, it was, you it was a great that, audition. You said that, that's yeah, fire. Absolutely. That's, that's fire. Because I was that stressed about I, the fucking right. audition. Right? <laughs> so, yes, we're all going off paper here. So, if y'all fuck up, I'm even more comfortable. Yeah. But you got, but nah, here's the thing. It's kind of weird, though. Like, when you off paper and then you just, with the people, the person you're reading yeah, with, they have, they have the paper in their hand. Right, you just right. look up at them and you just well, see. Right. It's like it throws you off a little bit. If, like, that's, if that's the person you're reading with and it's the person sitting down, so be it. But if it's mm. the actor, fuck that. Give me right. something. Right. Mm. Give me something. I want to get this part. Give me something. Right. I'm giving you this shit. I feel like uh, you you've earned that right to do that in the room. I don't think I'm there yet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm just being honest. Like you you have. Look at your your credit. You know what I mean. I you have earned it. the right to go into the room and it's say unreal. Bro. I Thank see. You. I don't unreal. think I'd go up to Jordan Peele and say pick unreal. up your fucking script. You know. Right. You guys are in your twenties, right? So there's. A, a lot of time. Yeah. When I was in my twenties, I was doing fuck shit. A lot of fuck shit. A lot, a lot, a lot yeah. of fuck That's shit. That's when you're supposed I mean, to do the fuck I, shit. I've walked in auditions and blew it, mm. walked out, and walked right back in, reintroduced myself, and started over. I oh, shit you I not. Like it. Awesome. I shit you not. Like, give me a second. Walk out. Walk back in. Hi, my name is. Boom. 
Did I get the part? No. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I was comfortable. Least, but yeah, and then, but at, and least then you'll made, right. at least you go, made it right within right. yourself. Like, exactly. I, I did this, I, I feel good. Exactly. Right. And then you walked out going, no, I didn't bitch out. I, I came back in, I put my I, shit on the I line. I put it on and walked out. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. One thing, I, but for me, it's, it's making that connection with right. somebody in that room. I don't care who it is. I mean, because there are people that are actually sitting in that room who already have their choice. Right. You right. know, it's up to you to say, no, you made That's the not wrong choice. choice. I'm I mean, sure. right. Mm-hmm. right. All I need is one person yeah. in that fucking room. That's it. Bro, it's so interesting because when you when you came day one of of the Table Read Ghost, like you don't know, you know, you just like, oh, he, he you know, he's a rapper, this and that, and he comes in and they get offered these parts, and I just I didn't know. Mm. The first when I had a scene with you, and then I started hearing you read and you doing alts, like I'm like, this motherfucker knows exactly what he's doing. <laughs> yes. And that was like so, it yeah. just it, it made me really happy because I love when people take it seriously and there's a lot of you know musicians yeah. or other people who come in they just phone it in because they're like oh this was an offer what the fuck do I get they show up late all kind of right. shit I learned my lesson early yeah. I learned my lesson early I was on a show called uh, Oz uh-huh. again Alexa Fogel yep. and um, there was just one day I just did not feel like going in <laughs> and I called them and was like you know I'm not feeling well blah 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 they was like you know what you can stay home and then was that their last episode <sighs> no this is what happened. Um, after I called him and he said that, I picked up on it quick. Now it's like, I can't go back to sleep. I wanted to sleep. Right. Now I can't. I'm up now. Boom. So he did his job. Shauna, da, 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 that's my manager. Yeah. Da, 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 da. This happened, this happened. Call the agent. This happened, this happened. Agent calls them. This happened, this happened. I think I sat on it about, for about four hours and got a call back. And that same person was like, you show up tomorrow on time and we'll see what we can do. Not that where that you still have your job we'll see what we can do right showed up the next day i had a quick meeting i think with one of tom's assistants went back home still had my job yeah Mm -hmm. (laughs) came back in got the new script got killed off right in that script Finito. I heard that show was like that, and I heard Sopranos was like that. They will kill you. Showed you showed up at all? If you like showed up late or had any type mm-hmm. of ego or anything like that, mm-hmm. and literally, yeah, I, I, I've heard stories about Oz like Gone. crazy. We That's haven't had that me. problem on our set. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Honestly, I, I, I feel for anybody that tries to pull some bullshit like that because this is a tight knit family first right. and foremost. We got a lot of crew and. Mm. Everybody knows each other. Everybody's right. close. So if you think you're going to shit on somebody that you think is a peon just working lights and things, no, right. he's connected to exactly. all of us. So yeah, exactly. I, I feel for anybody that comes on that set with any bullshit yeah. at all. Like so, I just said on my, on my Instagram the other day, shout out to the whole crew, man. I love yeah, the crew. Really, yeah, yeah, really, great. That's why it's great. called The Crew oh, Has It. it. Yeah, bro. It's, it's about everyone. It's not just about the, you know what I mean, which we're going to have on crew members. We're going to have on you know oh, the yeah. directors. And I want them to come on and talk about and what they all do. all of them have a break in story all of them have a Gianni story no, we're all, not of tell those. <laughs> all of them so Thanks. wait so when that happened was that the when you were on Oz was that like the height of Wu-Tang like where where were you Ooh, in your you know what it was, it we, was. Well, not so you, height, you were like we were we were we were big like right. worldwide at the time so and we were actually right. on tour Wu-Tang was fucking yeah. insane yeah. we were on tour like, so my money that I made off of Oz was used to fly private jets to make Wu-Tang shows and then fly back so I could make it to Oz on top Yep. Damn. So Wait, I would so, leave the set, yeah. jump on the private jet, go to wherever they were at, perform, jump back on the jet, get back, back like three film. in the morning, be on set at six. That's the coolest shit I ever yeah. heard about. <laughs> that but is the best thing about crazy. Oz is <laughs> on the set, they actually had bed, you know, it was prison. Right. They had beds and shit. So you, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That'd, that'd be right me in the dorm room. That'd be so, me in the so dorm room. So what was your headspace when, when you would go to set and you would like, were you invested in what you were doing? Were you I like, I really to do great work. Right. Um, for me, I was still green at the time, but I knew that environment, uh, you know, from my people that I've grown up with that have gone to jail and shit mm-hmm. like that. So I knew that environment. For me, it was just, trying not to be caught up in all the glitz of actors that I've seen on the show for so many years right. and not be a fanboy. So you watched it at the time? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah I did. Yeah, I did. But it was pretty good. It was That's pretty good. Funny. Especially J.K. Yeah. Uh, J.K. Simmons? Yeah. Oh, the man. Like, he actually came in the dressing room in our, because they had rooms, like, and came in our dressing room. I, I actually was a bunkie with uh, Evan, uh, Biohazard uh-huh. Evan, who had all the tattoos on yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. The guy that played, uh, who was the guy, uh, God, the, he, Beecher. He played Beecher. Glasses. He made the biggest trend. I forgot his real name and shit. Yeah. But, yeah, 
Then, like I said, I was trying not to be a fanboy and yeah. shit. And I was a big fan of JK and the guy that played Beach. I wish yeah. I knew his real name. Did they so fanboy nice. you or no? Were they like fucking? Well, they came in the room to meet me. All right, yeah. Mm-hmm. So they, yeah. that's always there the best go. when they fanboy you and there you're just go. like, oh, I like you too, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> I hope JK remembers though and shit like him. Yeah, you talking about working out. Yeah. Come on, man. That's like my spirit animal right there, man. This free, this freaking guy's like what? He's got to be like 60? past 60s. Yeah, 60 something. Yeah. 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 And. Rip, yeah, cut. Still in the gym, going crazy. Cut, going crazy. Damn. I hope it ain't TRT though. That shit'll fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all natural. I'm willing to take any test. <laughs> Talk to me. All natural. No TRT. I'm none of that crap. This, bro. <laughs> yeah. go to the <laughs> so I got a question. Like, out of everything, like you worked on TV shows, movies, whatever. What would you say? If all time favorite had the most fun on. Uh, belly. Belly, right? Uh, belly was Belly fine. was an adventure, man, because X was crazy as hell. Yeah. You know, Nas cool as hell. I didn't have any scenes with Nas, though, so I wasn't actually on the set with Nas. Mm-hmm. Tyron, when I did that scene in Jersey with him, he's a, he's a G. And yeah. just hype, hype's whole energy, you know? When mm-hmm. you work with guys that, you know, direct videos and they're from the culture, they have, it's a certain way it's that they different... know how to talk to you. You mm. know what I mean? They know the language, and it's, it's, it makes it a whole hell of a lot easier for you. Plus, he had all the plugins to all the, you know, talent. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. I could for just bro. imagine being on that set, bro. Yeah. Just the way it was shot, the lighting, all of that shit. Yeah. Just like that whole vibe. Like I know thing one thing. That lady came to my trailer with that Vaseline or whatever she was putting on them, that baby oil. Yeah. <laughs> you know, she was, she was I was like, nah, I'm shiny. good. I'm good. Don't touch me with that shit. I ain't have one shiny scene. Yeah, nah, I'm I'm one. Was shiny as hell. Caught X and Nas with that shit. X was in that goddamn, uh, when they was talking to each other in the, in the, in the diner, X was looking like a salad man. That, <laughs> that shit was crazy. Yeah, nah, everybody in that it was shiny yeah. as hell. Oh. Did, did you did you read for that or was that a straight offer too? Or that was like, a straight offer. Nice. Yeah. That's no, always nice when you get that. Nah, you, yeah. nah, they, nah, nah, nah. Yeah. they got to throw a message. Yo, I saw that. the movie before it came out. I had the bootleg copy. That's how <laughs> fucked up I was. The what? shit still had the tag, the number tag. <laughs> I'm serious. That's crazy. It's fucked up. That's crazy. So, so then after that, when how where was how high in the um in the realm of it was like after Oz after Belly but obviously before the Deuce. Like well, it, it came was, out in 01. So you don't get me the line because I don't I don't know when these timelines because right, you know. everything is a blur for me mm-hmm. you know when you're actually in it and it's moving so fast with the music career and everything yeah you forget more yeah, than you remember imagine, bro. You, gotta, like... you definitely forget more than you remember but the how high thing I mean that was easy for me and Red Man because we were just playing ourselves yeah, so yeah. So just having yeah. fun every day that was a great crew yeah, too I, I could if I can say that, that was, was up there with Belly as far as fun sets to be on. Plus, most of the crew smoke. Yeah. yeah. So the vibe is just... <laughs> but, but yeah, could, you just smoke, could you smoke uh, like in the scenes or they made you do the, um, the fake stuff? We smoked that... F- well, I know one scene we definitely smoked in nobody knew <laughs> uh, was when we first met and we got blunt, got weed. In the, when in I'm car, coughing yeah. in the car, that's <laughs> real cough. That ain't no made up shit. You can't make that cough up. And I was hitting some real good ass chronic there too. Boy, that shit was fire. Uh, fire yeah. up. So did did you improv a lot on in that movie? Because we like, improv some, right? Uh, there was there was a lot. No, matter of fact, a lot of it. I mean, that shit on your lip got some shit on yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> um, I see you're very much liking to explore STDs. Also, my friend, <laughs> there was a lot of shit. Uh, yeah. But mostly, what I got out of and this is all learning steps yeah. in the acting right. field. Tom Fontana, he, he taught me not to be late. Uh-huh. They mm. taught me, you know, smoking ain't always good for you because. Um, one of the producers, Stacy Cher, came to me and she was like, um, you guys are so great in the morning. Like, after lunch? <laughs> <laughs> but when you come back after lunch, it's like, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, because we smoke it. She, <laughs> was she insinuating that she knew that you were smoking? Yeah, they right. all knew. Right. Yeah. Oh, right, you yeah. come back smelling like yeah. the shit. It's like, yeah. there wasn't no it was, a hot that, right? <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was it was more or less like she she was more or less like, I'm a producer. Yeah. She's like concerned. When you're that. done, I'm going to still be a producer. You know what I mean? But that's not my face on the screen. That is yours. Right. It was like, you know what? She's right. <laughs> so how early fact. into the shoot what, did she say that? And then you did you switch it, it up quick? It was pretty far into the shoot. <laughs> and and the day that it really struck for me was when we did the whole scene with all of us in that uh, hall when they're having that, um, this what she reveals the bong. Mm. Yeah, right. The world's first bong. I was high there. <laughs> and there's parts where my face is doing some weird shit like, <laughs> because in that moment, <laughs> I still do that shit to this day, but in that moment, 
It was like, I, I'm looking and the realization hit me that I'm standing here with a bunch of grown ass people playing pretend. pretend right. Oh, it hit you in that moment. It hit me in that moment. <laughs> so like you the like... reality of it. So now it's like, I'm too cool for this shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Why am I here? Okay, you better play a action. I'm like, <laughs> you know, and they use that tape. They use it. That it's tape. in there. It's it's yeah. a part where he, he Red Man says something, and I'm like, and the smiles about because I couldn't hold it anymore. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, if you can see the B roll, that those laughs are real too because we were going there fucking up. I gotta, I gotta. There's a part that. where he comes and he's like, "You guys in your lines," and we just start cracking the fuck yeah. up because that scene. Damn, that didn't even happen because we couldn't remember. Shit, that is man. hilarious. Nothing. I know, like, that movie is so good, bro. Yeah. I, that was that like, movie I grew so up on that. that was, I, I would watch I that. Movie. You know, when you just have that movie that you just pop in, bro. Yes, you just watch that. that was it for I watched it that, like years. Friday. Yeah, like, Friday. Those, like those type of movies. I just love watched Friday. those and just half baked for me, though. Yeah, half baked. I want to talk to Samson. <laughs> <laughs> Send me to the moon like that bitch out of Cramden. And Blue Streak. Yeah, Blue Streak. Oh, that was one of my favorites, too. Fire. You you do how high and then how life changing was that for acting wise? Did it really like? We were still doing music. That you was were still more, doing music. That that for us was like okay now let's tour. Right. Mm. We got a bigger audience. Let's tour now and it it worked out because we had worked on our album, our Blackout album, and um, I had recently did a song with Fred Dirsch called uh, I I call it Shut the Fuck Up, but it's called uh, <laughs> what's it called? In together now. You guys don't know. What what? No lip biscuit fans in here. It's <laughs> fucked up, man. Come on, did it all for the Nookie, uh, Faith, the remake. Come on, lip biscuit has some shit. Rolling. Yeah, I like rolling. Yeah, and I know, keep man. rolling, 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 rolling. rolling, rolling. Yeah, that's yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. so disappointed. They said Lincoln Park. What the faces light up. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. I know Same shit. If you ask me. No, nah, not really. <laughs> not really. <laughs> totally different. But the, around that time, and uh, we uh, got booked on, first we did our Blackout. No. Yeah, what was we went first from Hard tour? Knock Life Tour to the Blackout, our own Blackout Tour, to Family Values mm. with Limp Biscuit. Yeah. I've never been on a tour like Family Values before. <laughs> You're smiling was already. That the, was that the craziest us. tour ever? Was that the Please craziest tour? Yeah. <laughs> that smile's like, I can't say anything, but it was lit. <laughs> the only hip hop act on the tour if that's it. Oh, that's know. different. So we, we out different. there with like Seven Dust, Stained, um, Limp Biscuit, of yeah. course, you know, then certain states you get to in these arenas, certain l bands that are from there would show up and things. But the people that stood out the most to me that got entirely no love, open and act was System of a Down. Wow, that's crazy. Right. Now, they, they were just starting out. And I remember we came to the arena one time, and um, they were already there because it's opening act, of course. And I think they had just finished their set. And uh, I remember walking by their dressing room, and it was literally a closet. Wow. A little fucking closet. That is Maybe crazy. like a few bags of chips, maybe a couple of waters. Yeah. Seen that shit, and I went over crazy. it. Cause we speak to the guys every day. Right. You know, we're on tour together. Right, right, of course. I was like, yo, y'all wanna y'all y'all free to come in our, our dressing room, you know what I mean? Spread your legs out and shit. We got yeah. drinks and all that shit. So this wasn't Wu Tang, this was you and Red. Me and Red Man. Right, right. And uh right. from that day on, really? me and Shavo were just like buddies from that That's day real, forward. Though. And yeah. uh then him and Rizza met, and that was just a whole different level of their brothers now, you know. And to see them blow up from what it was to what it is now is just like vindication for anybody that's ever felt like this is the end of the road for mm -hmm. me. I'm giving this shit up. Right. Don't don't do it. I know. Don't that's do it. It's crazy. That's real shit. Yeah. yeah. So so shit. did the did the crowds fuck with you or like what was what was you the vibe like? Because it was mostly rock weird bands. Cause, weird because a lot because you know at the end of the set. Uh, at the end of the whole night, yeah. Limp Biscuit would headline, and I would come back out and do "Shut the Fuck Up" with uh, Fred Durst. In together now, in together now, yeah. mm -hmm. with Fred Durst. So a lot of people knew who I was, but weren't familiar with me and Red Man's right. music. So when we would go out there in the beginning, a little shaky, but towards the end, you got to love it. Yeah, yeah, the energy because yeah. we had that energy. We yeah. drop, we jump in the crowd, we do all that crazy shit. Yeah, but there I've, were a few I've, I've seen, yeah, Once we crossed okay. the Mason Dixon mm. line, it got a little weird and shit. And it, mm -hmm. and there was one place in particular in um, the Carolinas. Um, I remember it was just this one group of guys in this one section right here, not for everybody else, but just one group of guys, you know, bandana wearing, beard, ZZ top beards and shit like yeah. that. 
And I remember just watching them, and it was like they kept screaming. They couldn't understand what the fuck right. they were saying and shit. Mm -hmm. They were just screaming. And it was like, they don't like us. I just felt it. Like, they don't like us. Stay from that side of the stage. <laughs> we performing Red Man. When we, like I said, we jump in the crowd. Red Man jumps in the crowd, but he jumps on that side. Yeah. And one of the guys <laughs> snatches his hat off. And, throw, and in that moment, like, you, when I get angry, like, Start shaking. <laughs> and I black out. Yeah. It's like my hands start to sweat and they swell a little bit. And oh, that's when I and I get right. flush. Yeah, yeah, right. mm. I get flush. Like it'll get quiet. Mm. Like when you're listening to something, you put your hands over your ears like this. That's how it sounds to me when I get in that moment. <laughs> I want to kill these fucking guys. Yeah. <laughs> now I can't do that, but I can get Red Man. Right. I go down and I grab him, but I'm looking right at these guys. Remember these two faces. Mm. Remember these motherfuckers. Their security, love their security. They saw the whole shit. So when we get back to the dressing room, I'm in the dressing room. Before we get to the dressing room, they stopped me. They was like, who were the two guys? We saw them. Don't worry about it. We'll handle it. Right. Cool. Whatever. That's not satisfying me because I want to fuck them up. <laughs> I go in the back and um, we get a knock at the door. The other guys are back there doing their one, two, one, two. Yeah. Knock at the door, right? I go to the door. I open it up. It's security. They was like, come with us. I was like, yeah. It was like, yeah. <laughs> He's like, so let's fucking do this. We walking through the. I'm by myself though. I ain't tell nobody else nothing. I'm yeah. by myself. We walking through the back, and they're like, yeah, we got the two guys. <laughs> I was like, word. <laughs> we go to the back, and the two guys are standing. He was like, yeah, we told them they're gonna meet the band. <laughs> I was like, wow, that's what's up. That's so like that. So they bring me to the. They bring me in the back of the arena where the trucks. Pull it, right. you know, yeah. for cars loading everything on, in there. everything. Mm -hmm. So the guys are standing there. I come out the door. The two guys see me and shit. Doesn't register to them at first. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then that's I walk like, and I'm walking up with the security. I'm like, you're a big motherfucker. <laughs> I'm like, how you guys doing? I'm the band. <laughs> I was like, what was that shit that? And I'm talking to this guy right. No, I'm talking to this guy here. Yeah. I'm like, what was all that shit y'all was doing while we was up on? And hit his man. Ooh. Knocked him out. <laughs> then I hit him. I didn't knock him out, though. By this time, these dudes know what's happening. They come running out the door. They should. They were better off with just me. Because once the goons <laughs> yeah, got there, yeah, yeah. the goons wanted meat. Oh, it's lit. <laughs> the lions wanted to eat. And they... Oh. They tore him up. Holy yeah. Him up. Let, let's put it this way. Um, around my way... You ain't fuck somebody up if they get up and walk away. Right. If y'all jump somebody and they get up and walk away, you ain't doing yeah, yeah, You ain't doing nothing. You ain't doing nothing. Okay, you didn't do what you were supposed to do. Like they you was gotta not. You got to park them up. <laughs> Imagine what you would do to a child molester. Yeah. yeah. That touches one of your family members. Yeah. Would you want him to be able to get up and walk the fuck away with some uh, after you administer your justice? No. Nah. Nah, the courts won't even let him just get up and walk away. They'll sit his ass in jail, sit him down for years and shit. So that's that's the mentality. So basically, that's what happened. These guys did not get up and walk the fuck away. Period. But oh, you man, know, he said, "I'm the band." Karma. I'm, said, the band. I'm, I'm, I'm the band. I'm the band. We need a gif for that. We need a gif for Method Man. I'm the band. That's gonna be the viral part. It's fucked up, though. <laughs> that's fire, though. Mm -hmm. That's a great yeah. thing. He said, "I'm the band." No, but it, it, the reason why I tell that story is because, regardless to how much love we were getting out there. There was it's still always a some bullshit. Right. It's assholes. always some bullshit. Always, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And it's like, I would have let that whole shit go. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, you guys stay over there with that energy. We know you're not here to see us. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. But for, for them to grab my dude, like, right. like no, right. you yeah. don't do that. We <laughs> oh, can't be together. Me and Mike, me and Mike yeah. have gotten shit, know. too. Yeah. I even, I somebody even know. looked at him. I'm fucking like, <laughs> And he, he thorough with the hands. Don't fuck yeah. around. But you get that feeling like that. That it's that... Fucking, mm, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, no, in that moment, <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. Think of Peter Parker not being able to sh fucking save. Uh, 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 what was MJ? His girlfriend? Yeah, M MJ not MJ, yeah. the other chick. Peter Gwen, not mm. being able to save oh, Gwen right. Stacy in that moment and being res kind of responsible for her death because mm. she was there because of, of him. him. Yeah. No way. Right. Shit, don't no way, like that. no. That's why anybody imagine, come with man. me, man. If you going, I'm going with you. Fact, Unless it's jail, because you did some stupid shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I put advice yeah. up in that position. Mm -hmm. So did you do a headlining tour after that where it was your fans? or Because obviously some of your fans yeah. came, but like there were Limbiscuit fans buying tickets. And yeah, we snack. did, and a lot of people got cars that year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot yeah. of people got cars <laughs> that year. It was that good. Was a good tour. It was yeah, pretty I mean, good. good yeah. tour. But at some point, you know, when that's your 
entire income. We're not putting out any albums in this in this time period, right. mm. and that's your entire income when it dries up because the shift changed. Mm. God bless these kids nowadays too, man. Y'all y'all flip that shit so well that y'all are on these. Y'all don't even have to fly commercial in first class. That's what that was our goal. You guys are on private jets. Yeah. God bless. Crazy. Crazy. I mean, listen, it's you crazy. you. You can imagine what the hip hop industry was like back in the day. Like, you kind of paved the way for these dudes to be able to do that. Like, you guys but the did fact all. They were smart enough mm -hmm. to do it. Right. You gotta applaud that. Even if you don't respect the music, respect right. the hustle. You know the what hustle. I mean? And um, yeah, man, entrepreneurs. Yeah, it's great. Now it's gonna be even more generational wealth. You guys are doing it, man. My hat off, salute to you guys. Yes. Man. Don't ever think it's hate if I'm asking how y'all doing it. I just want to know how. So <laughs> try to get on the game. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't pocket checking. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so so we'll end with some power stuff. Did you did you watch Power before um you yeah. were on Ghost? Yeah, but once I got booked, I ain't watched the last episode. I, watched, I mean, I ain't even watched the season. I ain't watched the whole six seasons. Season right? six, all right. Season six. six. Yeah, right. yeah. I still haven't caught up on Tommy yet. Oh, on force, yeah. Word. And um I got about four episodes in. I love Joseph on that show, man. Yeah. I'm so glad that they they gave him a vehicle to do that in, you know what I mean? But yeah, I mean I talk if, Joe. if we're talking Thanks. about power and we're talking about Courtney's babies, it's mm -hmm. power and this one here. Yeah, of course. Too. And I mean, big fan. Big fan. I was already familiar with Michael's work, you know, the butler. Yeah. Things of that nature. Um That's real. <laughs> and Omari, I was Familiar with his work from Dark Blue, mm -hmm. you know. Everybody else was like uh, character actors up to that point. I hadn't mm -hmm. known yeah. who they were, especially Joseph. I've I've seen him pop up in things that I've seen. Didn't know it was him until I see I saw Power. I was like, oh shit, that's right. Uh, yeah, he, he did a lot of like um one off episodes here and there. Yeah, he was yeah, just yeah. Like a but working... he was good in everything. He did. Right. I mean, I, I, the shit he did, uh, True Detective, was uh, pretty yeah. dope too and shit on the skinheads. But what can I say when? Regardless to how Hollywood or Hollywood exec feels about a uh, minority audience, not even minority audience, let's say people of color as an audience, right. we need to understand our power as far as entertainment, fashion, I mean, pop culture Influence. as a whole. They don't think that we watch television. Right. You know, uh, when these shows happen or a Black Panther happens, it's like a fluke to them or, right. no, let's not even say Black Panther. Let's say straight out of Compton. It's like, well, that just happened because that would, you know, that's right. just one of those things that happens sometimes. No, the, there's an audience out there. Right. And not only is it people of color, but white people love these shows too. Right. And yeah. I attribute a lot of that to the fact that millennials and Gen Zers are not who their parents were or who their grandparents were, their mm -hmm. ancestors were. It's more or less like it's a clean slate from now on and everyone has a more open outlook or an open mind about culture. Right. And I love it, man. I love it because that means <clears throat> that someone who came from nothing, let's say a Kodak Black, mm. is now a multimillionaire. Right, right. Because of the culture yeah. being accepted in the way that it is now. Agreed. You know? That's that's the shit that gets when you know Power Season Six was the third. I think it was the third most streamed show of 2019 or 2020 yeah. behind Game of Thrones and This Is Us. Mm -hmm. But then when you know we would get pitched for stuff for press stuff, they would go, "Oh, this magazine doesn't cover Power." This and I'm like. Do you know how big our audience is? But but you're covering this show that did one season and then got canceled that nobody watched. Yeah. So that's the stuff that gets angry. Like even when me and Michael are doing press stuff now for for Ghost, we'll like we'll do press stuff together. There are some talk shows this and that they'll just go yeah we don't really cover power and it's like, it's like how do you not cover your fucking power. audience is massive. <laughs> well, it's the marketing machine, and you know, honestly, we're living in a small world compared to. Right. A bigger world. So I hate to say that we're in a bubble, but we're kind we kind yeah. of are because of our audience we're locked into, as we should be. We should be locked in to just our audience. So to see anything outside of that, we can see our numbers. We know numbers don't lie and things of that nature, but there are other people with their own bubbles. Right. And they're not trying to broaden it or open it up or widen their bubble in any shape, form, or yeah. fashion. Yeah. Unless there's a pop culture phenomenon 
that happens to break through the barrier and have these people say, oh, well, let me take a look at that. Because there was a there was a time when people was like, what? I can only put a limited amount of words on this shit? Why right. would I want to do that? Right. What is this tweeter? Right, right, <laughs> right. What is right. this bird thing? Right. I mean, <laughs> why, why would I want to do that? Yeah. And I was like, you know, Elon Musk is trying to buy the shit. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? So, you know, live and you learn. And as time goes on, things evolve and people change. But Culture. those bubbles will yes. always be there. Yeah. They will always be there. So Game of Thrones, big ass bubble, right? right? Mm -hmm. Power. It's a big bubble, but yeah. it's not as big as that Game of Thrones marketing machine. Right. You know what I mean? And right. until this bubble can kind of get in there a little yeah. bit, because it's in there a little bit, there's some people that are here, right? but those others there, they just like what they like, and it is what it is. Well, so you don't think <clears throat> that if if Power got the same amount of marketing that HBO did for, for Game of Thrones and, and social acceptance through all these talk shows and this and that, you don't think our bubble could be bigger than that? I think Absolutely. It, could be. it would yeah. be. Yeah, it yeah. would be. But you have That's the stigmatism why. of... It's a black show. Right. When in fact, it's not a black show. I say that all this the time. This is the most diverse right. show I'm on TV. I'm trying to tell you. Right. So <laughs> when you have that stigmatism, black show, that's the mm -hmm. first thing that comes out. And that black, in this society, right. you think about it. Black flag. Black death. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, what other blacks are there? Uh, fuck. You, just anything. You know, it's just associated <laughs> with... Just something negative. Negative. Yeah. A negative something. out. You know what I mean? So yeah. there's, I don't, I say embrace it, you know, so that when it does, and it will, get to a point where it's not described as a black show any longer. Right. We can say that we were straight in our conviction. We were, we, we knew this already, but we... Didn't, didn't try to show you. We, yeah, we've been trying to show you guys this, but we didn't try and force it down your throats. Right, we were like, right. you will come around sooner or later. Sooner or later, right. y'all yeah, reckon. Right. Bottom line. Right. That's a fact. All right, we got one fan question for you, and then we'll get you out of I here. Knew, I knew there wouldn't be too many of them. They don't like McLean, boy. They don't like There was that a ton of them. What do you mean? I, I mean, I, 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 got, I got a couple, but... We just got to um, pick the best ones. Mm. Yeah. So so one time JJJ said, if he could choose any person uh, in the Powerverse to represent other than Tariq, who would it be and why? Oh, well, I already represent the Tejadas. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, Jesus. Probably Tate. Tate. That, 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 because he got so many freaking connections. You know what I mean? <laughs> Plus, I just like being on screen with Lorenz. Right. Yeah. yeah he's the man. <laughs> you know he's what the I mean? Man. Yeah, I love him. It's over. Right. For real. Right. With Lorenz. Um, and I got one more from Elise Copeland. And she says, Does he think he's a better lawyer than Proctor? Absolutely. <laughs> I think he's a little more trustworthy. I am man. so tired of this question because <laughs> he's a little more trustworthy. As, as long as you got the bag, it. you know, you don't got to worry about David. I, I like I said, people they 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 they're creatures of habit. Right, they, mm. they like what they like, and mm. if they like that, it's going to be hard to deter them right. from that. You have to do like an amazing magic trick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For me, the reason why, and I have reasons behind this, Proctor isn't as efficient as Davis was. Right. Proctor was fearful. Yes. Proctor. He did it out of out of fear. He out of fear. He didn't wanna, he didn't you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's not about if he respected the game or not. He feared the guys in the game, so he kind of played into that. According to that, whether he was loyal or not, you can't be loyal if you fear someone. Right. There's no way you're loyal to that person because as soon as you get an out, you're yeah, gone. Yeah. And he took his out because he was a snitch. He wore a wire. Yeah. Thank you very much. Regardless of how y'all look at it, <laughs> Davis would never fucking wear a wire. Now, yeah. the thing with Davis is where people got it misconstrued with Davis was when Davis gave up Tariq, when he was willing to give up Tariq. Right. People see it as, well, Tariq is paying him. Okay. But who is, it, who is Davis representing? Tariq's mom. mom. Right. right. So my, my concern is his mother, not him. He's not on trial here. His mother is. Right. So Davis did his job. Right. Right. Which was to represent his client. I'm That's just all. paying. And, and, and if you want to talk about loyalty, yeah. when a motherfucker's loyal enough to burn your motherfucking baby yeah. to make sure you get out, yeah. come on. Yeah. Come on. Which is why I think Davis is a better lawyer, not only better, but more paid. <laughs> yeah. You understand? That Lambo you know truck. I mean? yeah. He got the Lambo truck. And, and he get more pussy. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, let's talk about that yeah. part. All right, no one gets more ass than sex. Yeah, sex, sex we going. Sex, to, I mean, going come crazy. on, come <laughs> on. Well, thank you for coming in, Beth. We appreciate yeah. it. We love it. We're gonna have you back on when we the ghost episodes start airing. We'll recap episodes. We want to have you come on again, and we'll talk about you know if you had a big scene you loved or a good episode you liked. All right, we could do that. So we're gonna we're come gonna on to if, if you want. You know, if you had a good time. But yeah, um, I'm just waiting for them to cast uh, Marilyn. <laughs> Wait, you know, my 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 wife. Oh, oh, yeah. and is you she know. an actress? I, I'm just saying. Yeah. There's a. They always mention Davis McLean's wife. Uh-huh. See, he got it wrong. He thought oh, I was talking about my actual. I thought wife. you were talking about your actual wife. It's Davis McLean's wife. Right. They always mention her. This, that, and the third. Right. It's time to show her. Right. I'm, I'm, it's just a suggestion, you know. <laughs> just a suggestion. <laughs> just a suggestion. Yeah. That's right. the whole reason he came on. He's like, all right, we need to talk about this at the end. <laughs> He's like, hey, Dig, let's see what yeah. makes this man tick. I mean, we already mm-hmm. see, you know, in. I mean, as much background as they're giving in to Davis, they don't give too much. But, you know, first of all, he's a cheater. Right. Right? Yeah. He's a great lawyer. I don't give a fuck with anybody. He's a great fucking lawyer. <laughs> yeah. And uh, he loves the shit out of his brother. Yes. That, that part. You know what I mean? So um, I would love to explore more of his uh, background. And I think Marilyn plays a major part in that. Yeah, I think we'll get there. I 100% think we'll get there. Appreciate it. Um, yeah. So plug your stuff, what are your company, whatever your Instagram, everything. Just I have nothing, but you, you know, y'all can, you know, just look for me. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Follow <laughs> Method Man official on Instagram, please. <laughs> y'all look for me. All right? Oh, Meth Lab Three out. Yeah, that's that's a that's a good. Oh, one. just a major album coming out. Okay, but I don't really have anything. <laughs> you know, and um, just, I don't got nothing album coming out, but I don't got nothing. Just stay on the on the watch because you know how these shows go, especially when they're dealing with the youth. They always have that arc and that turning point where. You know, you may start to see some familiar characters from the original Power series, not in in person, but in spirit, right. in some of these characters. Right. Mm-hmm. Yes. For sure. Right. Legendary, legendary Method Man. I appreciate you. Appreciate yeah, you, you know how to be here for the bro. Yes. Thank you. you know what I'm talking about? You. Love what y'all doing, man. Keep doing it, man. Young entrepreneurs. Yes, yes. sir. Yes. yes, sir. Thank you for supporting it. Mike, plug your stuff, whatever you got coming um, out. This Where's 22 on Instagram? Holy Michael Mini Jr. on Instagram. Don't Hold on. smash. Oh, happy belated yes. birthday. Happy oh, birthday, my motherfucker. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> my goon, goon, goon. Happy birthday, baby. Who has it on it? Can we get that? Thank you, know, you so birthday much. Birthday boy, little late present for the birthday boy. You yeah, know? man. Many more, man. Yes, you know, many you more. know. Always cherish your birthdays, boy. You're getting older on this yeah. one, boy. All right, yeah. Follow me on Instagram at Gianni V. Paolo. Obviously, Michael Rainey Jr. Where's 22. And yeah, the crew has it. it. The crew has it. Crew Who has, has it, it and you have it. Cherish your birthdays, That's baby. Right. That was the first and last time I got an ass whooping. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Matt. I appreciate it. Respect. Thank you for coming on anytime, man. Fire.